Hi everyone, this is Vicki, and I am going to share some of my hauls. Um, I've just been kind of in a on a spine spree lately, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I thought I'd show you some of these that I bought um, in not what like this one. These two I bought last month, I think, or maybe it was November. I can't remember, but Marilyn G had showed this one, so I went over to. Uh, impression obsession and bought this one and this one because I love hearts this one is really cute um, I kind of stamped it up I, I can't find it but this I just did this very faintly so it comes out really cute I like it and then um, I had gotten these when um, um, Anna Anna Wright uh, showed her one of her um, uh, new dies that she had out. So I love this cowboy boots, and I got also the girl cowboy boots, and I got this tag which looks western. I love those. So um, I got those because um, yeah, I like western. <laughs> <laughs> and then I haven't been able to make anything because I got on the Christmas wagon. <laughs> and then recently she showed this one, so I had to have that one. And then I also got this um, that she showed. And I used this yesterday with my granddaughter. Um, she was making her dad a card, so I um, she's four. <laughs> But we made those um, snow girl cards, and um, she just had so much fun putting all that uh, flaky snow on. And so, yeah, we had fun. Anyway, so I got these, and then I, I just today got my um, order in from um, a, um, Impression Obsession. So I got the grab bag stamps <laughs> and I didn't know you get so many this was full and these were all the stamps and um, so there was a bunch of these mostly um, these um, word stamps so I stamped some of them out and then these you can tell what they are okay so this is this is a flower actually it looks like a um, Oh, okay, the word's not going to come to me right now. But um, a Hawaiian um, uh, flower. And this comes out the, the dark part of your, you know, the ink. So it's it's solid. And then the flower. So I'll show you what, I stamped that out. I'll show you what that looks like. This is an ice cream cone. I didn't stamp that out. This is a banana. So the ones that I could tell what they were, I didn't stamp out. Like this is a dress form, which it looks pretty. It has a butterfly on there. I think I'll like that one. And then, um, that's amazing. All these for $5. And then I got this, which is a pumpkin with some um, garnish on top. I think that's going to be really cute. And then this quail. is a cute little quail. Um, then there's this... Um, looks like it's a Christmas ornament but it has a little face on it with a bow don't you think it has a anyway <laughs> we'll see and this looks like a snowman head with his eyes covered and he just has a, a cap on that would be cute too and then this one is a um, looks like a unicorn um, a fish want to be unicorn or something <laughs> to that nature and then this is um looks like a bee in clothes that's my guess it's some kind of bug okay then i i grouped them all i say this one looks like um a basket with flowers maybe or kind of there's flowers here and then this one looks I printed this, I mean, I stamped this out because I couldn't figure out what it was. So I'll show you that one. This one is a little flower. That's cute. 
And then this is a bunch of flowers. I don't know what kind. Looks like iris or something. And then this is a border. That'd be nice on a card, right? Um, and then this is really intricate. Wow, Victorian house it looks like. Oh, it looks like Christmas because it has, uh, looks like it has some f Christmas kind of foliage. So, wreath, maybe. So, that was neat looking. I didn't stamp those out. And these are all a bunch of, um, you know, wordy things. So, I couldn't tell upside down, whatever. So, some of these, I so I had to cut them up. There's this big one that's that you can read. And um, I probably won't use that one because um, I don't have a sister. And... <laughs> And then this one is kind of like if you need a retirement card, I think that's good. Um, and then this, I like the font, mm, but I don't know if I'd use that, uh, maybe in a journal. Uh, there you are. I'm not sure. I like that font too. Um, you will forever be my always. I don't have a person for that. <laughs> Okay, this is that one I showed you. It's a flower, I guess. Um, a flower, of course, backwards. Or maybe it's a fan. I'm not sure what this is. But this is the whole thing. And there looks like a flower here. And this looks like a partial basket. So I'm not sure about this. But in a collage, it'll be fine. So, um, and then this one... Um, a merry little cactus that's funny um, and then just because it's always good okay and this one I love you know that be really good for uh, background kind of thing I like that one so that was this one and then this one says bring your own sunshine I like the what it says and then there's this couple of, I like these two so this is not clear because I didn't stamp it very well because you know I don't have the backing to it so but this is um, a Bible um, verse Jeremiah 20 and does that look like 11 so I like that sentiment or that um, verse Bible verse and then this one up here I like this font uh, warm thoughts to brighten your day that's so that's cute okay so the flower it's called hibiscus okay so it looks to me like a hibiscus um, and might be good it depends so yeah so but overall I love it I love these for five dollars okay so on mounting these um, I brought out what Marilyn G told me would be good to use and so I did buy this zig memory system I thought she said Sukuniko it might be but uh, no Yuretake it's Japanese though but um she said it was a blue container so this is what I bought and it works good you can't use too much otherwise it doesn't ever dry but on these I did do this and um, see it's just slightly sticky I think um, Anna Wright she she did it um, showed you how to do it so anyway I just thought I'd um, share that and so I will be doing some of these I, I would like wood mounting if anybody knows uh, where to get some wood the, for the you know for the stamps um, fairly inexpensive I, I would like to mount some of them you know like this one and maybe um, like this big one so some of these I know I would use and other ones maybe I'd use occasionally and so I would put them on like this and I did find my mounting my it's called mounting foam and I bought this a long time ago I have two sheets left of this 
and um, so it comes like that and has sticky real sticky on one side and the other side is not not too sticky and I had one to show you but I don't see it here it disappeared on this table can you imagine if it comes up I'll show you here it is I found it okay so these I think I got from that um, purple onion a bunch of these little things and so I mounted these with this and see it's not but it sticks on the um, on the block real well I'll stick on this block so anyway that's what this this cling mount is that um, I can use on some of them I just you can't really label it I, I labeled it like this and then I just keep it in little bags so anyway put that together so anyway that was that also some of them see this I used this this and it doesn't come off too well and then um, the other one worked better this in this uh, versifying ink I used the rest of the brown ones on and that came off really well see I used it on this one it's brown and it's, it's off it's gone but not the black um, archival ink so there must be a reason for that um, but anyway I thought I'd just share that because it's easier to clean <laughs> it's nice when it's easy to clean it just wipes right off on the, you know the hundred percent cotton cloth and then um, I do have this spray that I I use I don't think this works so well but I do have that that I got from uh, all they I think Jennifer McGuire had a long time ago I bought that and she had said that that was good anyway so I did order these on this new release I guess it's called um, and I really love this this is so this is really neat this quilted frame I think Anna showed this but um, I really like that one so I haven't used it yet I just got it today and then this one and I ordered that one and it came today I love this and then I got this one which is a special because it's Valentine's I guess and um, these are really cute so these will need to be mounted oh these are mounted on the foam so I don't have to do that but you know I can I guess cut them apart if I want to stamp them separately I, pro I probably will want to stamp them separately and then I got these stamps also and I I'm new to stamping I mean I have some and I don't use them very much but I thought these were really cute because they have these are book it says book markers I guess clear stamp set so I don't know but they're they all mention books and so I thought that'd be really cute for my grandchildren maybe put make them into stamp um, sticky stamps st um, and then put them in their books or make bookmarkers and then um, I got this this one also I love this font let it snow and the sparkle on these snowflakes I have some snowflakes I haven't used but um, I got this anyway <laughs> and then this one is a sewing and I thought this is really cute so I got those okay so oh I'm sorry so the last thing I got was from from um, tailored ex tailored expressions and so I went there because of the teeny tiny things that my friend was showing um, P whimsical endeavors and she was showing all the little teeny tiny things so I went on and I didn't really see very many and I I like this um, bunny because it's coming up right so I got this die with a little bow with so the chocolate I think it's called chocolate bunny see how cute it is so I got that and then I got this um, stamp 
and I remembered I have one already stamp uh, I didn't remember when I bought it but I do have this one with the knots in it but it's not exactly what I wanted um, I you know I wanted to make a frame and I had I bought this frame and it was inexpensive and when I when I um, die cut it out it's all all these things make holes and it's probably because it's too heavy on the pressure on the die cutting machine but anyway it didn't and I wanted it a thicker frame so you know I wanted a thicker frame and I wanted it larger and so I was going to buy the one that Anna showed that she, that she designed but I didn't think it was big enough or wide, a wide enough because I have something in mind that I want to make <laughs> and so when I got this today I thought gee this is not going to be well I guess I could die cut it out and use it you know with a small tiny picture in it it's not really what I wanted to do but anyway you have things in your mind and then this is what happens <laughs> you have to alter your mind vision <laughs> but um, they gave me a little a little present so cute it's called be bright it says on the outside and it's a light bulb which might be extinct someday <laughs> <laughs> and then it has a little thing can be a heart light bulb that that's cute so thank you tailored expressions for that and then one other thing I got was I wanted um, Anna showed the a card she got in the mail which had these um, little little calendar and um, I saw them there so I I ordered it and I thought, well, two dollars something. It's a, you know, it's good buy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what these things cost or where to get them, but I saw them there, so I thought I'd buy it. And um, um, so I I got this to make a stand-up frame. It's pl you know, the plastic kind. Someone showed that also in a video. A plastic frame. Then you put this on the outside, and you can put your picture in the background. And then. Um, when I got these, I thought, that's a thick package. <laughs> so there are 10 of these in here, which is great. 2022, and today I'm thinking, I've got to get busy making these because this is, you have to give it out now, right? And you get 10. I didn't realize I was getting 10. I was, I was thinking I was getting one. I don't know why I was thinking, but anyway. That's what I got. That's my haul, and... Um, I just wanted to share it, you, it with you guys. I know this is a long video, but anyway, I'm I'm very wordy. That's why. So um, I will talk to you again later, and um, when I make something, I've been playing around, and I think um, maybe I'll have something made by Saturday. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.